the channel once again. Uh, this week you find myself and John in an actual Second World War prisoner of war camp. It's actually called Camp 116. Um, the only reason we're here really, we see another paranormal team do it a few weeks ago. They had a little activity going on, some voices coming through on their audio. But in any case, hope you enjoy this something different explore. I'll speak to you shortly. Okay, um, as, as I mentioned in the opening, this is a, an old World War II um, oh, prisoner of war camp. I knew I'd get it out in the end, but let's just take you for a little walk around. John's having a few camera problems at the moment, so he's sorting that out. But anyway, I've put a few cat balls out. I've put four in all. This is the main quarters, whether this was maybe the eating quarters and maybe shower block i'm not sure but it's the largest structure on the base so we'll just give you a quick walk through this bit certainly looks like the shower block maybe sorry about that i'm getting problems with my light not sure what's happening with the light tonight it just keeps going off for some reason but let's just take you through quickly and then we'll give you a, a look over the camp itself But obviously this is something different to usual. I do enjoy doing the churches and places like that. But it's always nice to do something different. And this is certainly something different for us. But as I said, the last... Oh, the light's gone off again. The last paranormal team that was here actually picked up a number of voices in the night. So I'm hoping that the same thing happens to us. But I'll leave the static camera there. Just filming up through the hallway of the mess hall and hopefully it can pick some of these cat balls up we certainly had a few going off while we've been setting up the cameras but let's see how that progresses john's still having issues you can see but he'll um start in his own good time you're going to be all right there for a little while john yeah and we'll walk you around the camp and give you a, a feel for the place and then maybe i can get the spirit talker going there's a long path that actually comes into the location. It's actually sealed with fencing and a gate. And generally, I wouldn't normally, well, I would not say break into a structure. I wouldn't climb a, a fence to come into a location that in reality, we're not really supposed to be, I guess. But we're not here to cause any damage, any harm. There's a large water tower there. I'm not sure if you can see it at the moment, but we'll have a look over there in a minute. But I'll just take you up through the camp And then we'll get the spirit box going and see if we can pick anything up. It's certainly overgrown, as you would imagine. It has been, what, 70 some odd years since prisoners were here. And I believe the prisoners themselves, a lot of them actually stayed after the war and helped rebuild the roads, etc. And obviously started their own families in this country. So let's just just give you a little view of the place as you can see there there's more accommodation there and then there's a chain link fence surrounding the whole site and let's just have a little look there's certainly more structures behind this fence up here i'm not sure if we can get to it but we'll have a look and obviously you can see more housing as such Let's see if we can get over there and have a little walk through. Would be nice to pick a shadow figure up maybe. This looks like it might be a way in. And my torch is gone. I really don't need my torch failing tonight. Or oh, maybe this is the mess hall. Certainly a large structure.
amazing is that they're still standing here. I know they're not in the best of condition, but the general bones of the buildings are still here. Just have a quick check, make sure there's no one here. Hope John's all right. I should really check in with him in a minute. I've got me walkie talkie on me. But maybe we could do a little bit of calling out in here. Oh, my torch is gone again. Sorry about that. Not sure what's going on with this torch. Let's maybe put the camera down here. Um, that actually said hospital. Thank you for that. You've just said the word hospital to me. It's a bit odd. It's just come through with a word and I didn't hear it. Sorry about that. There's something moving in here somewhere. I'm not sure. Did you see that? I'm not sure if it's a bat or something in here. It's obviously attracted to the light. It's a bat. Okay, if there's any spirits in this location currently, could you possibly come into this space and maybe communicate with me? Obviously, I'm unsure if any prisoners actually died in this location. This just said on the floor. What's on the floor, spirit? As long as you ain't got a creepy shadow figure on the floor. But I would welcome anything, I guess, even a creepy floor figure. But come forward and give me something, please. Come and maybe talk into my microphone. There was another team of people here a few weeks ago. And you spoke to them. So come and speak with me, please. I'm here on my own. I'm not part of a team. Russell. Russell, were you here with me? Was you maybe one of the prisoners, prisoners of this camp? Or maybe you was a soldier of this camp? But please, give me more if you would. As you can see, I've got camo attire this evening. So, you know, I've come as they would have looked in the war. John obviously made the effort. Not... Please, spirit. Smash. What do you got to smash? I'm happy for you to smash something. Come and show me that you can do that, please. Come and show me that you've got the energy to do that. Okay, let's hope that that, maybe, are you replying to my question about smashing something? Are you going to show yourself this evening to me? Auditorium. This is like an auditorium. It's a very large structure. Let's see if John can hear me. Hello John, can you hear me? How you doing, bud? I'm going now. I'm just getting me uh, spirit box sorted now. Okay, buddy. I've found the mess hall. It looks like the mess hall. It's a big hall. Um, so I'm just about to finish here and I'm going to carry on walking around. Right on. See you soon. That actually said turn away. What am I turning away from, spirit? Are you here with me? Do you not want me to look at you? You're not going to scare me off. 
Okay, John sounds like he's all right. He looks like he's got his camera working. So, let's get this put away. It actually looks like a bell tower up there. Let me just, I'm just wondering if they had a, a small chapel on. Is that a bell tower? Or is it a chimney? No, I think it's a chimney. Oh, I've lost the light again. Sorry about that. I don't know what's going to provide. What do you mean by provide, spirit? Looks like we got John. I mean, light's gone again. You alright, John? Yeah. I'm getting problems with my light. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just up here, this the mess hall, just so I can show you. Let me just point out the mess hall to John and he can... So it's connected now, is it? Yeah, weird. It is weird. I've had tradition and caves. You've got what? Tradition and caves. I had quite a lot coming through in there. Now that tree there, Yeah. if you go down the left-hand side of it as, you, as, as we're facing it, yeah. There's a little door, stuck door. If you go in there, the mess hall's in there. That whole building's a mess hall. So it pushes him. Yeah, it's quite a big, big one. Are you alright? Yep. You got the walk, ain't you? Yeah, it's a chimney. As you can see in there, hope you can see, look, the light's there, so that's where the static camera's filming away. Obviously there's a number of structures here, they're all in different, different ways of disrepair, but let's move over to the water tower maybe. It's certainly not as big as I thought the camp, when I actually see it with the other team, let's see what that's saying to me. It's talking away but it's in my pocket climate oh we're not one of these climate warriors spirit come on let's not go there all i want to talk to is the people from the second world war this place is this bars well they're talking away to me and i can't understand a bloody word they're saying we are not i can't remember what i said they were clearly replying to me, but let's just come down here and see if we can get there. Definitely barred windows, so they were the cells, obviously. Yeah, it looks like it's a whole cell block, but it's quite an open structure again. Oh, mind you, they would have all shared, wouldn't they? They wouldn't have been independent buildings, they would have all been. Um, Hours together. Pamela. I wouldn't imagine there'll be a Pamela here. Yeah, I think this was living quarters for the prisoners. Certainly barred windows. So obviously all of the beds were lined up in here. Not the largest of camps, but as I say, you could have lost a number of buildings on this site. So there could have been many dozens of them. Stay there. Why am I staying here, spirit? Negative. Make sense, please. Why do you want me to stay here? Fascinating place. I've never been to a, a camp like this, so it's certainly new to me. Let's move into the second building. I would imagine pretty much the same as the last I've just gone into. Oh no, this one's slightly different. Oh, this was definitely a shower block of some kind. Yeah, there's the showers. Oh God, I've got a whole 
been down there. I think maybe that were the sinks, maybe the row of sinks that was actually the support for them. Yeah, there's the bathrooms. Look at that, original toilets from the war. Obviously, if you see anything while I'm walking around, because you never know, something may appear and I don't see it. Yeah, more buildings there and they've actually fell down. That's why they're all chain fenced off. John's down the end there. Can you see him in that building over there? I'm not sure if you can, but he's in the mess hall. Okay. Oh. He is here. Thank you. This is obviously a changing room of some kind. They were hangers, I take it, for prison uniforms. But certainly a strange cross on the wall there. Can I ask what this cross represents, please? Clearly it wasn't here in the war. It's been painted by someone that visited. But I'm not sure what that cross is. I don't recognise it. And you've just said, he is here. Can I ask who's here, please? Is there someone here that could talk to me, maybe? Let's just come and stand back here, man. He is here again. So that's twice. Who is it that's here, please? That's twice now you've told me that he's here. Can you give me a name, please? Or could you maybe tell me if he's a negative spirit or a good spirit? Could you do that at least? Okay, should we go out there or? Let's come back through. I certainly hope something's around and that it shows itself. We always want to catch that elusive shadow figure. And if there's not one here, I don't know where there'll be one. Because obviously this is a prisoner of war camp, so there was suffering. Not necessarily physically, but it must have been very hard for the prisoners to know that they're now locked up for the remainder of the war. Just heard a noise then. But fascinating buildings. I know they're not historic like all the 16th century churches that we do, etc. But it's still a fascinating building or buildings. Okay, let's move down to the bench. You alright, John? In this one up here, this, this is the prisoners' quarters up here, John. So this one is the prison where they obviously the bedding area. The one next to it is the shower block and changing. And in there, in the back of it, there's a room where a changing room with hooks. Be quiet and listen. We're listening. Oh, there's a changing room and hooks in that second building. And yeah. it's got a big cross painted on the wall. Yeah. And I've got he is here twice. Look, he yeah. is here, he is here. And it's in that back one. Spirit box. Weird. I've had malicious. Delicious. Malicious, yeah. Spirit box and uncertain. But yeah, that's the living quarters with the bars on. The one behind it's the shower block and changing area. Right, and that's the way you went in, yeah? I went down here, yeah. in the door on the end of this structure, and you can go straight across to the um, shower block. Let's have a look then. But that room where you see the cross paint on the wall, that's where it said he's here twice. The attic. Yeah, go and have a go. That was quite nice, that big mess hall, wasn't it? Yeah, the gas chamber. Yeah. It wasn't a gas chamber. We're British, we didn't gas prisoners. 
they're dairy. You know, the British stiff upper lip and all that. I keep hearing walking from somewhere, it's not John. I keep thinking I'm hearing footsteps, but maybe it's just this place playing with my mind. These two structures are obviously very devastated. Certainly not much left of them. Fragile buildings. Looks like there's more units down there. But there's the water tower. Let's just pan you up a bit. Did you hear that then? There was footsteps. Can I ask who's here please? Is there someone here that's visiting this location? I've just heard your footsteps. That was very odd. So yeah, anyway, let's have a quick look in this water tower. There's not much to it in actual fact. I'm assuming it's a water tower. That's what um, I heard the other paranormal team. Love, oh, thank you. I do like you to share the love, but I would assume it is of some kind of water tower because that looks like. I can't hear you, why can't you? I'm talking loud enough. I love see there is a second floor. Um, I'm not sure if I can get up there. Certainly there's a ladder there and it looks like someone's bent the ceiling back, but it's very lonely here. I'm sorry for that. I'm sure it is lonely at times. Is there nobody house in this camp? Nobody else, shall I say? Are you here all alone, maybe? Are you the one that I keep hearing footsteps? Is it you that's maybe following me? Maybe you want to communicate with me? You've just said you're lonely, so maybe you want to have a conversation? Maybe you could give me your war number. Could you do that? Oh yeah, look. Different rooms going up. I may try to get up there a bit later. As long as John's around, just in case I fall down. Okay, let's see what this place is. This is probably the most isolated one. Oh yeah, look, all the way through. Spirit, could I ask, is there someone that inhabits this place? These must have obviously been living quarters, but maybe these, these aren't barred, so maybe these were for the, the British Army themselves. Please, come and show yourself in one of these rooms. They're all interconnected, obviously. Revenge. You want revenge, do you? If you were a prisoner of war, I could assume you would want revenge. But certainly you were only here because you were at war with the British. And that's the reason you were caught and imprisoned here. Maybe you are bitter. But you would have been looked after much better than the Germans looked after the British soldiers when they were at uh, court. Did you die here? Can you confirm that at least? Please tell me, did you die here? Or maybe you died elsewhere and you just returned to this location because you spent a number of years here. Uncertain. There's some move down the back of me then. Who's down the end there? Whoever you are, you're noisy. You seem to be following me. I'll turn the light down a bit. Look, it's just complete darkness. Show yourself. I keep just hearing footsteps. Just a few, but the footsteps nevertheless. 
sun oh certainly not yet spirit we're a good few hours away from sunrise okay I think we'll get back to base camp I can see John and maybe we'll take a little break and then we can uh, do a little bit of night vision maybe and see if that'll help draw anything forward so please bear with me okay we've just had a little break myself and John look at him in night vision what a beautiful young man he is I'm a lying bastard um, so what we'll do I'm, I'm just going to use the night vision camera now I just want to have a little walk around the camp and just see if we can pick anything up in the dark obviously um, I think we'll work our way up to the mess hall and we'll have a look in there under night vision I think are you, are you alright there John you coming or do you want to no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk towards that water tower alright buddy give us a holler if you need anything yeah ok excuse the camera it may go out a few times because obviously we're in quite an, an open location so let's just take a walk through I've just got to remember where the mess hall is oh it's up here okay obviously I've just got the torch on just in the background because obviously it's a little bit too dangerous walking around this camp without any lighting but once we get to the mess hall we'll turn it off and we'll do a little bit of calling out have I bought me now I'm worried now did I bring my phone with me yes I did okay and then we'll get the spirit app going maybe and we'll stand in the mess hall in the dark and we'll see if we can communicate with anything so I'm hoping the microphone on this cam caller can pick my voice up. So if it gets a little bit weak while I walk into the structure, I'll, I do apologise, but hopefully it'll pick enough up so you can hear me. Because it's quite a, a closed in area, so it should really pick my voice up. So let's get this going again and see if anyone wants to come and talk to us. OK, I've returned back to the mess hall. I certainly have a feeling that there is something here. Something wanting to communicate with me earlier. So here I am, I'm in the dark. I have no visibility whatsoever. So I would appreciate if anything could show themselves. The camera I've got behind me, you can see in the dark. There's steps behind me. I'm hoping that you'll show yourself. Maybe the light scares you. I did bring an EMF meter with me. I hope you can see that. Spirit, in my hand here. Livelihood. In my hand here, as I was saying, there's a little box and it has lights on it. If you approach me, it will show more lights. Marie, I wouldn't imagine there'll be a Marie here. This is a prisoner of war camp. And it would have been me. So I'm really interested in talking to any prisoner that may still reside in this location. Maybe you lost your life here. Maybe you didn't. Maybe you went back home after the war, but you visit this location as you spent a number of years here. But I'd like to talk to anything that resides in this space. Come and give me your name, please. Okay, Spirit. Let's try this again. Gas. Uh, gas. There is actually some gas bottles to the rear of this. Dying it. Sorry, I'm it. Who's here? Something moved. Are you here with me? You just mentioned the word gas. I believe John got that when he was in here before on his own. 
Why are you saying gas, please? This is a British prisoner of war camp. We never gassed prisoners. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, I'm here. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. So you're here with me now, are you? Then if you're here with me, tell me your name, please. Give me a name. Definitely movement in here. I can hear it. It's in the back there. I'm trying not to go through to there yet. Okay. Oh. I was 70. You were 70? Well, I wouldn't imagine you were 70 when you were here. If you were a prisoner, you wouldn't have been 70. Let's just check that back room. And there's movement in here. Are you here, Spirit? Can you show yourself in that doorway? I heard you moving around. There's certainly something here. Just got to be careful. I just can't see a damn thing. We'll try one more in the water tower. And then maybe we'll look at wrapping things up. Feathers, Feathers that just said. I don't know why it mentioned feathers. Feathers usually represent spirit. Good spirit, I believe. Begin. if you can see up there it looks like there was at one time there was stairs going all the way up the three levels okay spirit can I ask is there anything you hear in this location that could probably come forward and speak with me you're outside, are you? I've just been outside, Spirit. Why are you outside? Come in here. Follow me in through that doorway there. Whoever you are, come inside. Please, come in here with me. So clearly there's someone here. You seem to be just following. I think you're more interested in who we are. Which is very nice to see, but I'm here to communicate with you. I want to learn a bit about you. I want you to tell me about what it was like here during the war. Was you treated nicely? Was you treated badly, maybe? 
But if you can give me anything, I'd really appreciate it. Movement up in the tower. Something up there. Could have been a bird. But you've gone very quiet on me. Right, okay, I'm going to try one more last spirit box. And then we'll leave it there, I think. I think we've done everything we can in here. In reality, I just really wanted to come as I was very interested because I've actually never done a location like this. And certainly for myself and John, negative. What do you mean negative? I'm speaking the truth, I've never been to something like this before. Okay, Spirit, I've, I've got another device on my phone that may pick you up better. You told me that you're outside, but I just want to speak with you, so I'd really appreciate if you could come inside with me, please. Well, that sounded disgusting, didn't it? Uh, if you could... Attractive, <laughs> thank you. I think so too. But it's very nice of you to tell me that. I obviously can't see you, so I wouldn't know. Good God, I hope I'm not chatting up a man. That's somewhat scary. But I thank you for telling me I'm, I'm attractive. But anyway, come into this location. Don't keep standing outside, please. I'll give you permission to enter this area. No, nothing. I think there is something here, but whatever it is, it just likes to follow. You just occasionally hear the old footsteps and things like that, but that's it, Spirit. Okay, let's check on John, make sure he's all right. And we'll... Um probably look at tying things up at that point. Um, this is probably about 50 odd miles from home, so obviously we've got to wind our way back at some point, and we need to do that before daybreak, of course, because I'm not honestly sure that we should be in this place. It is actually because it's an old army camp. It is fenced off, um, and I wouldn't normally go into locations that you shouldn't, Christian, I'm a Christian. Were you? Um, yeah, I wouldn't normally go into locations like that, but I was so interested as it was a World War II prisoner war camp. I just really, just once, wanted to visit one. But okay, let's get ourselves back to where we're based. Hopefully, John's there. And we'll look at wrapping things up. But I hope you've enjoyed this one. I certainly know it's something different and, you know, it's, I've enjoyed it. Okay, so thank you for joining myself and John once again on tonight's visit to this World War II prisoner war camp. Certainly something different for us. Um, there were some noises picked up during the course of the evening, but we enjoyed it in any case. But if I could ask, would you please leave a like and leave a comment if you wouldn't mind? And just to remind you that John's channel is now live. So please follow the link in the description and go along and obviously give John some love and maybe support his channel. Please. But until the next one, have a lovely week ahead. I'll speak to you again soon. Take care. See you later. Bye-bye now.